Hello everybody, welcome back to Pyrene. We are continuing with the challenges. It's Akahan with the Merchant's Friend. Broken key. Chests no longer appear when you clear a danger zone. Votive shards also give you gold. Gives plus one to votive shards. Adds a merchant to all future biomes. So, okay, seems simple enough. Instead of our normal stuff, we instead have to do shopping. Okay. Where is Zoe? Give me Zoe for short. Then thereafter. Great question. I imagine we're going to be able to buy a lot of pretty good stuff. So. Do we just go with Cerevoir? It's so good. You know? And then thereafter. Give me... Hunting knife. Do we want even more gold, or is that excessive? We'll take the simple ring. Simple ring, solid. And do we want an apple? And then we still have room for one more. We don't have to fill it, I think. Especially because our endurance is only five, so... Oh, no cards selected. Great job. You know, instead of that, I'm going to take that since we've got the uh, energy for it. All right. Solid. I'm assuming we have all of our default skills. Swap. Zoe's Wrath. Zoe's Jump. And Frozen Ring. Yep, seems right. Or right enough for me. We don't have any money for you. So, Shame. So we can swap to Zoe at any point. Zoe can also attack, but if Zoe dies, they don't come back. Oh, we have gravity here. Sweet. Easy to forget that. Swap. Oh, you fall on the gravity as well if we swap, which is very interesting. Right, that is not Bassandri, so we can attack both of these guys. We might need some more healing. But here is our dagger. Now, these are important because they give us gold as well as everything else. Do I want to try and rest? We can try. Because Zoe has us straight out if needs be. But here... We can get some extra stuff. I'm going to take one for three. Then it'll be two, which would kill us. So, I think we're out. Excuse my silence for sneezing. Right. We have 15 gold. I think there is... Is it this person? There's an achievement for buying all of their stock at once. Because obviously we can't do that now, but we should aspire to do that at some point. Using a special power gives you three provisions. Using a special power inflicts four burn. Using a special power costing three or more spirits gives you four shield. Using a special power inflicts four bleed. Using a special power heals three HP. Using a special power moves you next to the votive altar. Not the best. We don't have enough wood, but we might be able to get some wood in the last encounter. Okay. Start with this. Oh. That's an unexpected development. I must say. These two on the board is annoying. Right, 
Alright, let's rest. Then, this Zoe is going to become invincible and attack every enemy around her. That works out great. Then, we can kill you. It's not the best, but it's fine. We'll get the old dagger going. I want Akahan to get the root. And I totally can get him to the root, which is great. Here. Then, if we move over, we can get the root and attack there as well. Then, four HP to rest. I think we passed there, but a 15 altar is huge. We did not get any more wood, which is a shame. One max HP is great. Uh, oh, we did. We got two f enough for a roll. Special power inflicts burn. Using your special power gives plus one to all cards in your deck for the current zone. Special powers are triggered one additional time. Using your special power gives shield. Special power moves you to the altar. Using your special power also heals you three. Uh, give me the shield. That's only stuff from your deck, which doesn't seem so good to me. We've got shields, so we don't need healing as well. And these just kind of don't, don't do it for me. So, we'll leave and see what the next shop has. But where do we want to go? Probably not the caves. Although we can see more, if we can swap between Akahan and Zoe, we can see more of what's available. But I think grasslands are fine. It's just so many monsters have settled here. I wonder if that means there's a higher ratio of monsters around compared to other things. Give me more gold because we want the gold for shopping. Hit that, then cure the bleed. Then if we swap to Zoe. Oh, there's no gravity here. Of course there's not. All right, well, not my best rest, but it's fine. Yes, there is a lot of enemies here. Rest and take one damage each. Then Zoe is gonna become invincible, attack everything around her. Solid. Tell me that we have a way out of here. Because I do not feel great about this room right now. Alright, we've got an altar for 12. We've got cards. A second simple ring might not be bad. What's actually in play from our deck right now? Everything. Four bleed to adjacent enemy triggers chain reaction to adjacent enemies. Not bad for this place. Alright, I'll take that. 
for right now. Let's stick it there. Might come back for something else. Fruits and veggies, boy. Use one provision for each empty space. As long as this card is in play, cards from your deck are triggered one additional time. Yes. Absolutely. Um... All right. Another merchant. That's Echo. Equipment chest, a rare treat. Eight gold for shield. Three provisions, three gold, three shield. Is just a better version of the apple that we're currently not using anyway, but sure. We cannot afford Echo currently, but we will hopefully very shortly. So this is in play, everything goes twice. It's kind of, oh, it's kind of moot because they've got eight poison or eight bleed, but we kill them in a single hit anyway. Yeah, I don't love this. This helps a lot, though. The bleed is very helpful here. Let's swap uh, so that Akahan can get the herbs. have to rest this will kill us if we attack it so I'm just not gonna the burn isn't worth it right, that's 21 gold so we can go to echo now what do I want to echo is a great question Cerevoir, I think, is the obvious choice. Right, so let's do that instead. swap these two. The Divine Fruit's in just the worst position. And then Zoe's going to rage out. Especially in a manner that does not result in us being poisoned. Do I want to rage out again? Yeah, that's a problem. We can swap. Let's do this. Populates that. Why do we not poison everything? Or bleed everything? Inflicts four bleed to adjacent enemies, right. It's unideal. Alright, that's all we're getting done here, I think. Well, no, we can swap. 
For two? Do I want to swap to get two gold? Nah. Alright, could we echo again? We could echo one thing once more. Can we echo twice? I'm not sure, but I'm going to echo the ring. Get even more spirits. Open woods or windy meadows. Home to many flying monsters. Sure. Flying monsters don't scare me much. Soul shop. Well, we can't afford any of it, but blue crystal would be nice. Very expensive, though. Powerful relics. Spirit cards also inflict burn. When you receive bleed, it's inflicted around you. After you lose HP, you receive one shield. After you attack an enemy, inflict five thorns to cards around you. Can't move them, though. When an enemy takes bleed damage, deals the same amount of damage to another random enemy. That would be worth having with our potion thing. That's a lot of wood. I do not have 10 spirits to attack everything around us, which is a shame. I do not love this room. Now we do, but we don't have the position to do it, which is also real annoying. So if I move, he's going to move over there and get attacked, and I do not want that. goes twice so guaranteed to kill the things around us we have enough food to rest oh god okay um i can't put zoe here That's also really bad, because that took out my... Um, oh god. It took out my shield, and now we can't rest. Excuse me? I wanted this one to attack everything. God damn it. I've got a little thing called problems. Can I make this Zoe sleep and die? Amazed we got out of that, honestly. Gambling. By paying the gold, you will randomly obtain one of them according to the probabilities. Double the value of all gold cards. When you start a danger zone, you get a shield that makes you invincible. It disappears when you take damage. Votive shard cards have a 50% chance of not upgrading the altar. Adds plus one to all damage dealt to enemies. This is like a great deal because we don't get prizes from our altar. We just get gold from our votive shard cards. As plus one to the damage dealt to enemies. Great. Can't afford to try again. Is Zoe still in the deck? No. One Zoe died, both Zoe's got taken. Oh god. If Zoe's not in play, add plus one to any damage we take. Oh. I do not like this development.
Let's go see if there's anything that can help us here. This. This I did want. Okay. Sorry? When enemies take bleed damage, do the same amount. Okay. Right, 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 right. Frost all enemies around you. They're going to fly and attack me, but we have some shield. I can generate more shield by spending this. Or not, because it doesn't have enough cost, I guess. Right, this is a good, good room. this herb and then I need to get out with nine shield I'm gonna do this to clear out some more tiles that's a real big problem Wow, skin of my teeth. Right, I don't want to do any extra rooms that I don't have to. Let's go check on this. Provision for each enemy in play. Three provisions, two provisions and heals two HP. Okay, let's do that. Yeah. We didn't miss any secret rooms. No, don't have spirits to spare. I'm not doing any more fights than I absolutely have to right now. Um. Yeah, so... I want the shield and stuff early. Now, this should be okay, because we've got the crystals, which will do one damage, but all damage incre is increased by one. I hate the orientation of this map, though. One max HP is huge. Anvil costs 24. Up or down? Down, I suppose. This room is hell. Well, I don't want to take the crystal, so I'm going right. Fire and poison, or ice? Um, I'm wondering about chewing on this divine fruit. I think we'll do this first. Oh, 
I hate so much of this. Oh, thank God. That is just what I needed. Right, now, do we use this or the crystal? I think we eat the crystal. And save this knife for right now. Okay. Three dodge here is, like, way too much. Oh, it's gone. Haha. -ha. Okay. Can we do all of this if I want to? I think so. We can sleep, see if we get any free cards next to us. Uh, not in a way that I can make use of them. Five spirits is huge. Five spirits is even more huge. Five coins is nice. Right, with 62 gold, we should definitely spend it and become stronger. This is spirits. 30 spirits is not bad. We could have another Cerevoir. Do you have enough to reroll? As for the anvil, what would I anvil? Oh, Cerevoir, obviously. Okay, 38 gold. To anvil again 53 that's probably out of our reach I don't know if one more of those is what I need right now because what we can do with 30 souls is we can induce two frost in all our enemies around us which will do a lot for us in keeping them from being unable to attack us badly when a status is applied, halve its value. Hate that. I don't want to eat the divine fruit. Good. You're going to attack us on the upswing. That's fine. We've got plenty of shield. I need to get rid of some of this volume. Is the problem. Two throwing knives. You don't pierce, so... Lovely. Right. Take the crystal if we have to. We don't. If I take the throwing knives, I can't get back across. But we have enough health to rest again. And if I can get over there, then we can have a lot of stuff. You're going to attack me anyway. Lovely. 
trader over here. Honestly, some max health wouldn't be bad. But also, we can afford to anvil again. You were spirits, weren't you? Alright, give me max health. Do I want to anvil something? Honestly, Saravoir is like the only thing that's worth it, but it already has Echo, so it's making four cards already. We're not often going to have room to do more than that. Oh, tough choice between Divine Fruit, uh, Pink Crystal and Divine Fruit here, which is a damn shame. I think right now we go keep the pink crystal. Oh, God. This space is hell. I don't want to attack the guy with frost. I really don't. Must remember, I get shield out of this stuff too. Out of my skills. Uh, I'm gonna leave that stuff there. Um, time for pink crystal to go. Rehealth on sleep. Then we just have to get out of here. Good. Apple. 89 gold. Man, we are really, really flush with cash, aren't we? I'm going to reroll these. Spirits on inflation, five damage to the most common enemy. How many endurance do we have? Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can take one thing that will just appear in our deck at our convenience. Gives you three shield. There's three damage to enemies with bleed in the same row and column, otherwise inflicts three bleed. Is not bad with our daggers. A free, free spend the night, I think, is totally worth it. We'll stick it before the daggers. Really, that should be before the daggers as well. Right, crystal here, so we don't want to go down that direction. Hate this. Thankfully, we got lucky. Then back around in the opposite direction. Now we are going to spend the night here. It is what it is.
There's our exit. I don't love its current position. I think if we go this way... That's going to work out okay for us. One max HP. Here's our boss for the floor. So if we're going to spend money, we should spend it now. Can't re-roll any of this. Let's see. Can we increase our endurance? No. We can spend 54 to... Oh, we can. Yes, yeah, right there. Um, eight cards. We've got everything right now, so kind of don't need it. So give me max health. Then let's upgrade. Um... Uh, just this it's not the best but I'll take what I can get you know right our enemy resurrection freezing deals 12 damage if only this giant only froze you blah 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 blah, blah. turns to life after death inflicts frost to its enemies so it only comes back once. Okay. spirits. A little scary. I'm going to rest before I take this apple. I hate the proposed root options that are available to us. Inflicts two frost to all cards in play after spending the night. Okay. That's slowly chipping down. Eight is not feeling like tons right now. They've got 12 left. We can get some spirits, but it's between one and four, which does not help. I think I need to get to Saravoir. Really badly. did it. It was a bit touch and go, but we did it. Urge's Ring. Urge's Altars cost spirit rather than gold. Interesting. I guess we just still have some unlocks to do. Uh, get a card from Andos 9 out of 10 times. Complete a zone with snow. We just haven't been there enough. Apply 40 different talismans to your cards. Upgrade your cards using talismans 150 times. Use a curse chest 40 times. Turn into a bear 35 times. Buy a card or relic from Byro. Haven't even seen that. Adds one holy card to danger zones. That was incredible. All right, well, still some stuff to do, but next time it will be the next challenge for uh, Matilda. So for now, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.